The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clophas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My soul magnifies the greatness of the Lord. At katulad po ng ating mahal na inang Maria, ang puso ko'y nagpupuri sa araw na ito dahil natupad na ang isa sa mga kahilingan ko. Ang makapagmisa sa dabanang ito ng Birhen ng Lanaval de Manila. Alam niyo po napakalaking biyaya po ito para sa akin, isang pari na foreman four months old pa lang sa pagkapari. At higit sa lahat, laking gulat ko nung makita ko na ako lang pala ang paring diosesano na nabigyan ng pagkakataon na makapagdiwang ng Misa Novenario. Kaya maraming salamat po sa mga minamahal kong paring Dominikano sa pagkakataong ito. Dear brothers and sisters, The, dic the dictionary defines the word magnify in two ways. First, it means to extol or to glorify. And secondly, magnify means to make something appear larger than it is, especially with a lens or a microscope. And truly, in the life of our Blessed Mother, we see that these two definitions truly define the life that she had lived with our Blessed Lord. Ang buhay ni Maria ay may tuturing nating isang magnifying glass. Kapag tiningnan natin ang buhay at kwento ni Maria, mas nakikita natin na mas klarado at mas naintindihan ang buhay, paglalakbay at mga turo ni Jesus. Whenever we use the magnifying glass, Yes, we are looking through the lens, but we are not really looking at the lens. Rather, our focus is on the thing being looked at. And that's true when we are looking through the life of our Blessed Mother. Our focus is being drawn to the life, works, and teachings of her Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Whenever we hold and pray the Rosary, The rosary in our hands is our tangible, magnifying glass of faith. And it fixes our gaze to our Lord Jesus Christ through the lens of the Blessed Mother Mary. Mga kapatid, sa ating patuloy na pagdarasal ng Santo Rosario, ito ang magnifying glass ng ating pananampalataya. Makikita natin na ang kwento ni Maria ay isang napakagandang kwento ng pag-asa. Alam niyo po at present, I am assigned at the Our Lady of Hope Parish here in the Diocese of Cubao. Sa likod lang po ng SM North, ang aming parokya. At nakakatuwang isipin na napakaganda ng ating tema sa taong ito. Maria, ina ng pag-asa, kagalingan at pagkakaisa. At totoo nga namang ang ating patuloy na pamimintuho sa tulong ng Berhen ng Lanaval 
ay siya nawang magbigay sa atin ng pag-asa, kagalingan at pagkakaisa kahit mayroong pandemya. My dear brothers and sisters, we heard in today's gospel the tragic scene where the Blessed Mother stands at the foot of the cross. Nakita natin ang isang ina na tumatangis habang nakikita ang paghihirap ng kanyang anak na nakabayubay sa krus. Napakasakit ng ganitong eksena. Walang magulang, walang ina na nanaising makita ang paghihirap ng kanyang anak kung maaari lang nais ng bawat ina na ang kininalang ang paghihirap, ang pasakit na dinaranas ng kanyang mga anak. Dear friends, Mary standing at the foot of the cross is the best image of a church who continue to hope in God in a time where we face a new battle, the, this battle against COVID-19. Mary's hope for the future glory is grounded in her past experiences of God's faithfulness in her life story. Yes, she was suffering, but her heart magnifies still the goodness of God's promised glory. She was grieving and feeling all the hurt, but it was her hope and trust in God that made her withstood the agonizing pain of seeing her son's intense suffering. Kung babalikan po natin ang kwento ng kasaysayan ng Berhen ng Lanaval, nakakatuwang isipin kung paano ang dalawang cargo ships na ginawang barkong pandigma ng mga Espanyol at Pilipinong sundalo na tinawag na Rosario at Inkarnasyon ay nagawang makapagpalubog ng labinlimang warships ng mga Dutch. Imagine ninyo ang cargo ship na nilagyan ng mga tangke laban sa labinlimang barkong panggera. Para sa mga millennial, kung ito ay battle sa Mobile Legends, yung dalawang mage ay naipit na sa base nila. Ubus na ang turrets at napalibutan na naghahalo-halong labinlimang tanks, fighters at mga assassins. Ngunit hindi nalimutan ng mga Espanyol at Pilipinong sundalo na matindi ang support nila. Nagkaroon sila ng pag-asa nang tawagin nila ang support nila sa pamamagitan ng pagdarasal ng Santo Rosario. Napaka-importanting victory na ito para sa ating mga Pilipino. Dahil kung natalo tayo sa labanan ng Lanaval de Vanilla, baka po hindi tayo mga Katoliko ngayon kung nagtagumpay at nasakop tayo ng mga Dutch. Si Maria ang nagbigay ng pag-asa sa mga sundalong ito. Pag-asa na nag sa kanila na lumaban at hindi sumuko. And with this, we see also that hope plays an important part in our life of faith. Hope allows us to wait. Hope makes us patient in waiting for God to show His power and His glory. To hope is not simply being optimistic that good things will come out from a bad situation. Optimism is simply choosing the favorable outcome from any situation. But hope is not simply about positive thinking. Standing at the foot of the cross, I think, is the most important moment of hope in our mother Mary's life. Hope is what sustained the Blessed Mother standing at the foot of the cross. She did not complain. She did not abandon her son. She did not get mad to the Father. And time and time again, she submitted to the divine will of the Father. Habang nakabayubay sa Cruz Jesus, si Maria lamang ang taong makapagbibigay sa kanya ng kapanatagan sa gitna ng matinding paghihirap. As she stood there, she was not despairing or lacking trust. Her maternal heart was going through also the same torture of extreme pain and anguish with her son. But she stood there, anchored with divine hope in God's promises. Mary's hope is a choice to wait for God about the promised future glory 
that is as surprising as a crucified man rising from the dead. At the foot of the cross, our Blessed Mother trusted that God would do what He had promised. And this steadfast hope remained with her until God fulfilled His promise, the joy of the resurrection of His Son. Mga kapatid, ito ang isang kagandahan ng ating pananampalataya dahil tinuturuan tayong umasa. Umasa tayo sa mga pangako ng kaligtasan at pagsaklolo ng Diyos sa panahon ng takot at paghihirap. Mary, as the perfect mother, suffered completely with Jesus seeing Him dying on the cross. Mary, as the mother of divine hope, shows to us the relationship between the cross and divine hope. She teaches us to accept our crosses in life anchored in our trust to God's promises with divine hope. Our hope through the cross is our antidote during this time where fear is so paralyzing and where anxiety and sufferings are everywhere. Kaya po tinatanda ko po yung sinabi ng ating Master of the Order, Very Reverend Father Gerard Timoner. Sabi niya, Hope is the radical refusal to put limits to what God can do for us. At nakita natin yun sa ating mahal na ina. Ganito ang pag-asa ni Maria. Hinayaan niya ang Diyos sa kung anuman ang dapat mangyari. When everything seemed to have gone wrong, our Blessed Mother, as a true woman of hope, stood firm at the foot of the cross. We too, my dear brothers and sisters, are being called to be firm in our hope in God. No matter how painful the pandemic has caused us, in our work, in our schools, in our churches, and in our loved ones who died fighting against this new battle. Mary standing at the foot of the cross is our best image of hope in the Gospels. Our Blessed Mother teaches us here to always put our trust in the cross of Jesus. In the cross of Jesus, there is power to overcome evil, even to stop wars like that in the battles of Lepanto and La Naval de Vanilla. And also there is hope for survival, especially during this time of this new battle against COVID-19. Lastly, my dear brothers and sisters, in the Gospel, we hear that St. John took the Blessed Mother into his home. Let us imitate St. John, who in great obedience to Christ, took the Blessed Mother into his home. All of us should follow the example of St. John. Let us bring our Mother Mary back into our homes. Dalhin natin ang ina ng pag-asa sa ating mga tahanan na nawawala na ng pag-asa. Let us bring back the great tradition of praying the rosaries in every home and in every families. Kumapit tayo sa ating mahal na ina. Lahat, na tayo, lahat tayo ay nangangailangan ng pag-asa, kagalingan at pagkakaisa. As we continue to pray the rosary, we pray that we can also regain our hope in a hopeless world as we face this battle against COVID-19. As the Blessed Mother had given hope during the Battle of La Naval, we too are enjoined to hope for a better world in need of hope and healing. Hail, Holy Queen and Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, our Mother of Mercy. You are our life, our sweetness, and our hope. Keep us in the mantle of your protection. Amen.